Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for 3ds Max Design. Let's continue on the series on mental ray rendering and learn how we can render an interior scene with daylight entering through a window or door. So let's review the steps. First of all, this scene will need a daylight system, a mental ray sky portals, and final gather with multiple diffuse bounces. And we'll go over this in the software in just a second. But first of all, we're gonna start by setting up the scene as we did for the in the previous tips and tricks on exterior rendering. So we're gonna make sure that, you know, there's a daylight system, that the exposure is, is adjusted properly, that we have the mentally physical sky shader in the, um, in the environments, and uh, also that there's uh, final gather bounces turned on. Once that we know that the exterior shot is rendering properly, then we're gonna move the camera inside because really at this point, what we want is do a rendering of the inside. So we're gonna add a mentally sky portal in the window, in the opening, in the door, wherever we need it. We're gonna change the exposure control to an indoor daylight clear sky presets. Start from there, we can later on adjust the exposure as we want. We're gonna increase the final gather bounces to three or four, and this is a very important step. Final gather bounces are really important for interior scene, and we're gonna render. So let's have a look at, at this step in the software. Okay, so here we have the interior shots that we wanna render ultimately. But before we do that, we need to set up the exterior with the daylight system. So we're gonna create the daylight system, and this is how we did for the exterior rendering in the previous tip. We wanna make sure here that we're showing the illumination and the shadow in the viewport, so we can actually align the sun to make sure that it's entering through the windows, because right now, there's no sun that it's entering your scene. But if I rotate the, camp, the compass, you can see that now the sun is starting to enter my scene. So I'm gonna adjust the environment, make sure that the mental physical sky is in my environment map. Turn on to mental ray photographic exposure control and choose the exterior daylight. Have a quick review preview and make sure that this scene is rendering properly. Now in the window opening, I'm gonna create a mental ray uh, sky portal to the size of the window opening. So I'm just gonna create one, duplicate it, put it in the other window, and I'm making sure that the arrow is pointing inside. I'm gonna move my camera to the inside, and this is where I'm at. Now, obviously this is way too dark, and it's because I haven't readjust my exposure control. I'm gonna just um, change the preset to an indoor daylight, and that's giving me a starting point. I'm gonna render another preview, and I can see that it's giving me plus or minus what I'm looking for. I can always readjust the exposure control as I'm moving along. Make sure that there's three final gather bounces, very important for interior shot, and it render. And you'll see that you have a really nice uh, result. So the mental ray sky portal object provide an efficient method of gathering or bringing the existing daylight system in interior scene without requiring eye final gather or global illumination setting that would result in a very long rendering time. So in effect, a mental ray sky portal act as an area light that derive its brightness and coloring from the environment. So it's basically telling to the scene, hey, this is where the source of light is entering through the environment door. So mental risk eye portal are quite important to indicate where the light is entering in your interior scene. Now let me give you a few tips to refine your mental resettings for interior scene. So the first one will be to use a material override from the render setup processing tab and apply generic white material. The reason we do that is because this help understand the lighting distribution in your space and you know avoid the distraction of the texture, the glossiness, and really helps you focus on the final gather solution rather than fine tuning your material itself. This is one little trick that we do. Now, when you do this, if you do have window or glass pane, make sure that you hide the window glass so the window glass do not become a white material and therefore opaque and do not let the daylight system or the exterior light enter your, your space. So hide the window pane and use a material overwrite. I normally use a white matte material, which is about um, you know 50 to 80% reflectance. 
Once you fine tune the final gather solution, you can cache the final gather computation to disk and use it and reuse it for a faster render. So that's like a nice trick to know. You can always change the interpolation number when uh, once the uh, final gather solution is compute to disk. It also kind of help you do the rendering a little bit quicker. Use a very low quality precision setting to fine tune the final gather. So we're not focusing on the material right now or the soft shadow or the anti-aliasing. We're trying to refine the final gather solution. So if you use really low uh, quality precision, you'll be able to render faster. The shadow samples value affect the quality, like the graininess of the shadow from the mental ray sky portal. So keep that in mind. The, the, sh the shadow sample value is also controlled by the global soft shadow precision slider in the simplify rendering panel. And the purpose of the mental ray sky por portal is to focus the ray from the environment through the window and holes to make sure that the rays are entering the space and not being wasted on the exterior of the building. So basically, by positioning your mental ray sky portal in your window opening, you're saying to mental ray final gather rays to enter through that window, which will help you because the more rays you have in your interior space, the more refined your final gather solution will be. But if these tips are not clear, make sure to have a look at the tips and tricks on refining mental resettings for interior scene, where I go a little bit more in depth about these tips.